Well, good evening, everyone. Um, it's Max with Luton Replicas coming to you. It is October 8th, 2021, and we have some big news, as you can see in the subject here and some of the comments. Um, we received uh, an original flown Apollo pen light. Now we've been selling uh, as part of the, actually there was a Kickstarter a number of years ago, a few years ago from Barbo Light to create a working replica pen light. And they did it right. It's solid brass. It's got the knurling. Um, there's some differences. It's, it's about the same size. It's almost exactly the same size. It feels right. It looks right. It smells right. It's made out of the right materials. Um, well, they kind of actually simplified the way it works. It works on AA batteries. They put an LED driver in here. It's actually a warm white 100 lumen LED driver um, that makes it a modern version. It's also waterproof uh, up to, I think, 100 feet or something. Um, and it's just it's a great daily use thing. It, it really puts out light. You know, oh, look, there's my microphone. There's the Apollo program. Um, it really puts out some light, and it's really cool. But because the, the internals are a little bit simplified from the original one, and how do I know that? Here's the real deal. This one is ACR FA5, serial number 3033, built in... Um, well, it's a little bit... Oh, 1972. So this is the real deal. It's a real one. They were actually built by a company called Fulton for under contract with ACR. And they made them through, I think, the mid-70s. Mid and they got used on the Apollo, uh, Apollo Soyuz, Skylab, and then the early shuttle missions through the early 90s when they switched to something else. So this was actually flown on uh, uh, Shuttle Challenger in 1985. So I have the card here that tells you this is the original slip that tells you what, what missions it flew on. It flew on... Oh, wait, no, it was the other card. Well, I'm not going to open this up. But in any case, it flew on Challenger in 1985 twice so whatever the sts for that was i think it might have been 65 65f or something like that um anyway it's the real deal and look how close it is i mean the the here they are together i mean the top one is the uh, reproduction. <laughs> um, there are internal differences, of course. Also, the the real one was a was a um, incandescent bulb. The the it's actually a little bit lighter than than the reproduction. The reproduction is a little bit more robust. Uh, it is double uh, A battery powered. This was a different type of battery. But I can tell you just just from I've been I've been carrying one of these for years now and we sell them um i can tell you that this is actually a little bit more substantial the barrel is made out of thicker brass than than the original i believe also because the double a batteries are a little bit smaller than the batteries that they used in the original acr light you see it's got a little piece of um little piece of velcro on there because they would tend to float away um but this is super cool this is something i have wanted since we were since we started selling these uh, from Barbo Light, and now actually we're the only ones that still have them, and we have quite a few of them, and actually they've been sitting on the shelf for a little bit, and some of them are actually, look at me, I'm sweating here. I'm going to take my jacket off. It's kind of warm in the office here. Um, they've been sitting, and brass, uh, raw brass, tends to oxidize. So we've had a couple that are on the shelf that just uh, this. I'm just opening this. Uh, I, I set this one aside. This is just an example of what we're looking at here. Can't really see it in the camera as much, but you see the it started to oxidize a bit. Now, mind you, the original 
oxidizes. I mean, that is significantly oxidized. I believe they cleaned them for the mission. I would imagine they were cleaned, but it is raw brass. Um, we've talked about this before. It's antimicrobial, uh, basically anything that any dirt or grime or, uh, um, you know, maybe the dirt would sit on there, but it would kill actually anything that it, any uh, microbes and stuff that had gone there within, I think it's four hours. So you leave this on the desk overnight and basically it's clean when you pick it up. That's actually, I mean, that's why doorknobs and things were made out of brass for so long. Stuff on ships is made out of brass. It doesn't corrode and it naturally kills a lot of things. Um, so these have corroded just a little bit on the outside, on the inside. Oh, oh open this one up. It's a little tight on the inside. They are perfectly pristine. They work fine. Actually, I'll throw some batteries in this one. What I'm getting at is we're selling some of these at a discount. Now we just took a couple off the shelf. And instead of them being 100 bucks or 75 bucks, uh, they're not going to be in perfect shape, but everybody gets a little bit of a discount and you get to have one of these. And all you have to do is put some el elbow grease into it to here. One, two. Works fine. $75. We're doing these right now. Some of them will have a box. Some won't. We'll put them in the Mylar bags and stuff. Some of the boxes got messed up um, in shipment at one point. We have a, a, about a dozen of these right now, uh, and we might find some more when we open when I open up the next box. But I just want everyone, you know, this is kind of like Halloween's coming up. It's, it's Christmas season coming up in a little bit. Or if you go to you know, you go to your favorite store right now. It's probably Christmas season already, right? You can buy you can buy all your decorations, and Halloween isn't hasn't even happened yet. Um, I want everyone to be able to get one of these. They're really cool. They're really they're really something that can be a uh, everyday item. And uh, I carry one every day. This is this is um, this one I keep in my office. But actually, I will pull the one out of my pocket that I use every day. I've had this one since the Kickstarter, and this is the actual one that I carry every day. Every single day, this is in my pocket, no matter what. And I've dropped it. I've kicked it. It's fallen down pipes. It's, you know, I, I've, 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 there's teeth marks in it because I bit it while I'm working on the car or something. Uh, I would not recommend that, by the way. Your teeth will break. <laughs> Fortunately, it hasn't happened to me yet, but, you know, but look at that. This is, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's almost to the, to the point of the original. Um, and I will tell you, I mean, honest to God, the, uh, the, this is, I, I don't have a scale in here, but I could tell you the repro is just a hair heavier because I'm pretty sure the brass is thick. The barrel brass is, yeah. Can you hear that here? That's the reproduction. And that's the original. The barrel brass is just a little bit thicker. So the, the repros are a little bit more stout. Um, <clears throat> they also have a sapphire crystal on the end of it. Um, they are an LED. Uh, they'll last for days on two AA batteries. I've never really counted it, but I've probably... The one that I carry every day and I use frequently, um, I have replace the batteries on it, you know, over the course of two years, I use it probably a little bit every day. I maybe have replaced the batteries five times in a couple of years, you know, so they, they, they're pretty good on batteries and they really work. I'm no kidding. I mean, they're bright. I got lights on it in here and I'm, you know, this is wearing out the uh, back wall and this is even fresher set of batteries. You know, I won't flare out the lens here, but the real deal. Now, I wonder if the ACR, the original ACR jack, uh, the uh, light, is could run on a AA battery. I'm I'm not sure. I mean, it, I'm sure it would fit, but I'm not sure the voltage is the, is correct for this bulb. And I don't know. Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's see if this bulb is blown. No, it's not. Actually, the bulb is in good shape. 
the ball was in good shape. It's got a little reflector in there and everything. Yeah, there's this great story, and on Collect Space, uh, I think, or Space Flown Artifacts, they have a um, an article about how uh, after Apollo 13, Jim Lovell wrote the ACR company and said, you know, these saved our saved our butts because uh, power was out and all we had were these flashlights, and that's how they did the calculations. That's how they read their Speedmaster watch. That's how they got back home, and they only had a couple of them aboard. I think they had three. Um, and uh, never failed, never failed on the mission. Lovell put it in his uh, desk drawer, and 10 years later, he opened the desk drawer, picked up the light, fired right up, and he sent a letter to ACR saying, hey, by the way, 10 years later, your light fired right up, and, you know, and it's cool. We have one. This is a real one. This is a real one from ACR. That's so cool. That's so neat. Wow. Yeah, the function is a little bit different than the re the reproduction. Uh, it, it's the the internal milling and stuff. I've taken it apart already. It was it's pretty neat, but basically it's the same. You you twist it you twist it on to turn it on, and you twist it off to turn it off. The only thing in here is it's got a little bit more machining. Um, and and it limits how much you can twist on and off. So it's got a it's got a basically a limiter inside with a double thread. Uh, that's kind of the only difference. Other than that, it's when it when it twists on, you're just connecting the battery contacts to the to the back of the light. And uh, so effectively, this is I mean this is a modern version of that, and it's and it works. And I can tell you it works because I've I've used one for two or three years. Let's open up another one. Let's see. Th these just went live, by the way. So there's there's several of them now on the site. Um, if you if you guys order now, um, you know, the next couple of days, I'll, I'll kick in some free shipping. How about that? Everybody on here that's listening now, if you order, if you order a pen light, um, either the either the full version or the, you know, the perfect version, which even even the perfect ones are coming out with a line. Actually, they're they're getting they get this line just from sitting in a box. Uh, but some of them get a line. Some of them get some more crust. This one's got crust on it because it's got crust on it. You know, I could sit there with Brasso in five minutes. It's gone. Um, let me turn the my buzzer's going off here. Um, Five minutes with some Brasso or your favorite, you know, Cinechrome or whatever you use to polish metal. Um, and this is, that vertigree is gone here. Let's, you know what, why don't we do this? Oh, it's going to flare it out. What's really cool about this light is, um, anyway, so so this one, this one's 75 bucks instead of $100. That's 75, $25 off just so you can, you know, you put your own elbow grease into it, and then and then you can patina it the way you like. It's nice and brand new. Put it in your toolkit. Well, let's open a third one. Here, this is another one. They do come in a nice box, by the way. Some of them are going to have boxes. Some won't. I, I'll try and ship the ones with boxes first. Um, a few of them, the box, like I said, the box broke, and I... It's not fair to send that out, I guess, because the box is really messed up. That one's got a little bit of vertigree on it, too. Jim. Awesome. Like I said, I mean, they really, Barbo Light did a really nice job here. Javier, um, um, I forget Javier's last name, is the owner of Barbo Light or one of the partners of Barbo Light, who I've been dealing with for years as sort of their, their main U.S. distributor. I like the... I bought the remaining of their stock. I think they might be doing another run. I'm not sure, but I have I have lots of them right now. Um, they make an awesome stocking stuff for any Apollo fan or just gear buff. You know, um, that crystal is sapphire. I mean, that's that's really cool. The original one is not. This is probably just glass. I'm not gonna not gonna test it too much. And you can also see it is proud of the of the fr the front lens there is is 
you know, when you put it down, it's on the front lens. Um, the repro is not actually it's inset because there is a gasket. There's a gasket between the lens and the brass housing. Um, and if you ever need one of those gaskets, we have those in a kit. Actually, we have the gaskets and the, um, uh, the main gasket and the lens gasket in a kit. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we open this one. You see it's got that line down the side just from where it sat in the box. You see, just there, kind of uh, halfway up. And then a little bit of verdigris just from oxidation. You know, it just sits in here, but it goes away. That's it, not pitted. It's not anything. It just comes right off. This is a brushed finish. It's brushed this way, you know, along the tube. Um, so when you clean it, you want to clean it with the grain of the brushing too. So you, you want to go this way when you, uh, when you use the brass. And like I said, it just, um, and it will not affect the serial number. The serial number is laser etched in. Oh, cool. It's focused on it now. Check that out. That's why I'm out of focus is because I'm, I got my hands in front here. It's laser etched in, whereas the original is a, is a roll stamp. But you see, it, it basically matches the original. It has the date and stuff. The, the font is different. The size of the letters is different, very much on purpose, so that these could not be misconstrued as an original, uh, even though there are differences. There's also an indicated, there's an arrow there that says, you know, when it's on or off. Also, the, um, the original is off over on. The new one is on over off couple of differences in the business we call it a tell so that yeah you know it'd be neat look at this you ship one of these out by accident wouldn't that be interesting <laughs> that's <laughs> jim you might I, I i might be messing up tonight i might be sending you the real deal uh instead of uh, instead of the repro well I, I don't think i would make that mistake but who knows it is warm in here all right, everybody. Just want to give everybody a little update. There are uh, there's more to come. Uh, we're still working on the the uh, red survival jackets. Those are coming out. Hopefully, uh, we'll have the final sample of those. I have a sample now, but we're working out a couple of bugs. Um, but they're they're really nice. Uh, all the fabrics and stuff. I mean, everything is ready to go. We're just uh, doing some sewing changes before we do a whole run. And uh, those pre-orders will open once we get the bugs worked out of that. And we take some pictures and some measurements should be about the same as the flight jackets we're already making because it's the same pattern, basically. Um, but you're really going to like those. The lining's really cool. Um, what else? Oh, uh, type 2 and type 1 jackets. We're out of a few sizes right now. We're, we're going to be doing another run of those very soon. So probably concurrently with the red jackets, we'll, we'll, have, we'll be restocking type 1 and 2s with the blue jackets. Um, what else? Oh, we have a few more Apollo bag uh, type things coming up. Uh, well, I might as well tell you. We're working on the PPK bag. It's kind of a stocking stuffer thing. We're working out the bugs on that as well. Just uh, making sure that it's as accurate as possible. But the little the little pouch that um, you know they actually they brought up a lot of the stuff the uh, the first aid covers and the stamps and the other things they brought for family members went into those PPKs. Um, I, I say that and it makes me think of James Bond, uh, obviously because of the Walter PPK that he carried. And this week I will have to say uh, the new Bond movie came out and I have not seen it yet, so nobody spoil it for me. But I was really looking forward to that. And finally, after, you know, whatever it was, 25 years it took them to get that movie out. Um, now, it was delayed probably a, what, over a year, maybe two years. I'm very much looking forward to that. But in, in the spirit of James Bond, we are not really. But we're coming out with the uh, Pilot Preference Kit Bags. I have an original one of those, too. But it's, it is in the uh, original NASA wrapping, so I haven't opened it up Um those should be coming out very soon. Um, they they will match there the nylon that matches the beta cloth very closely. Obviously, it's not fireproof, but 
it will match the sunglasses case that we have put out. And um, you know, we're looking at more stuff like that, stuff that's easy to do and continues the collection down the road. And they're not very expensive. You know, maybe the PBK bag will be 20 bucks or something, you know, um, just like the, uh, the pencil case wound up being about $10 or so. Uh, so that kind of thing is we like really like doing that stuff. I also really like making these available for a little bit less money so everybody can enjoy one of these. Um, hmm. Everyone have a wonderful evening. I know it's kind of late for us on the East Coast. It's just about midnight. Uh, those on the West Coast, have a nice rest of your evening and into Saturday. And uh, yeah. Get yourself some pen light. They're uh, they're listed right now. A little bit of elbow grease will be just as good as new, and they're twenty five bucks off right now. Everyone have a good evening. It's nice to see everyone. If you have any questions, always please reach out uh, private message or info at lunareplicas.com. I'm Max. Nice to see everybody. Thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, I see lots of comments here. I've read every single one of them. Brandon, Jesse, Tim, Jim. Another Tim, same Tim. <laughs> Great to see everybody. Have a good evening. Bye.